first thing I want to cover is what I call suction side strainers. So a lot of times there's a perception that we need to protect the centrifugal pump from whatever might be in the sump that, uh, or the tank that's feeding it. Um, so what we want to do to protect our pump is to prevent large items or other items from entering the pump that may gall the impeller or seize up the impeller on the casing or otherwise do a mechanical damage inside of the pump. But um, more often than not, what you'll find is that putting any kind of restriction on the pump that could change over time, like a strainer or a filter, uh, could definitely have adverse effects on the pump, and I want to show that uh, in this system right now. So what I'm representing right now is I have a very happy pump system. Once in a while, we are pulling in a little bit of air. Um, but in general, the pump is on curve. It's running smoothly. It's quiet. You can see that the, you have a solid column of uh, liquid in the, in the pump. There's minimal cavitation. Uh, generally, it's a happy pump. So imagine if this was the pump that you just installed with the suction side strainer upstream of it to protect it from being damaged, of course. But um, as time goes on, if you're not monitoring and maintaining that suction side strainer from the debris that you may or may not be protecting your pump with, you can imagine what happens over time. The strainer continues to get more and more plugged, which actually causes higher and higher suction side losses. And as we talked about with NPSH required versus NPSH available, you can start to cross that zone in which you actually cause cavitation in your pump. This condition for this pump is more likely to cause a premature failure than if some random piece of debris entered the pump and then left it cleanly uh, out the discharge. So quite often we see this where someone is intending to protect their pump from debris, but what they actually have done is kind of set a clock for the first time that pump's going to fail and maybe fail multiple times because of a plug suction. And you can see that if that isn't there, the pump returns to a happy state of operation. Uh, and, and really the, the fix for this is not a suction side strainer or a filter upstream of your pump. You should ask yourself, is there room in the system to uh, have a place, a tank or a reservoir for the heavy solids to fall out and maybe move your suction line up higher off the bottom so you're not drawing in those solids. Um, any kind of system change that you could make to try to prevent the items from coming into the pump would be the first uh, um, mode of attack over just putting a strainer in here because as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of change on the suction side to basically put the pump in a position where it's going to have premature. 